Hello, it's great to have you back at The Sim Hanger. My name's Mark, The Sim Hanger, for all things flight sim related. Now, following the release of the Alpha Flight Controls or Honeycomb Yoke, Honeycomb Aeronautical have issued a few product announcements as well as a few teasers. So we're going to dip a speculative toe, so to speak, in the waters and see if we can determine what we can expect to see from Honeycomb over the next 12 to 18 months. Let's get started. After some initial delays, the Honeycomb Yoke finally hit the market in October-November last year, featuring a switch and ignition panels. I think it would be fair to say it's been well received in the market. As it's already out in the market, we're not going to dwell on the Yoke. There's ample information out there. I've done two videos on the Yoke, a review and a configuration guide, and I'll leave links to those videos in the notes below if you would like to know more. The Bravo Throttle Quadrant, due out later this year, looks like it's going to be the most configurable and versatile throttle quadrant on the market in its price range. It will feature an autopilot suitable for GA and for commercial airlines, a 14 light annunciator panel, as well as gear and flap switches. The thrust levers allow configuration for small, single and multi-engine planes with separate flap switches. For airliner use, you can choose a configuration with two or four thrust levers, levers for spoilers and flaps. It will also allow you to control the reverse thrusters. One very neat feature is the ability to blank off unused axes. The Quadrant also has a built-in friction control so you can control the tension of the axes. Clamps are included to fasten it to your work surface. At Flight Sim 2019 at Cosford I had the opportunity to get my hands on the Bravo Throttle Quadrant and the quality felt great. So when can we expect this? The Honeycomb site has it on at $249.99 and simply says coming soon. One of the main European distributors, Aerosoft, has it on at €249.99 and delivery expected 2020. Scan in the UK is a little more optimistic as 30th of September 2020 is the quoted delivery. At this stage I think it would be safe to say last quarter of this year. Scheduled for release at the same time as the Bravo Throttle Quadrant will be a throttle lever pack for the Airbus. This will be a separate purchase and price 69.99. This pack will allow for both twin and four engine configurations and cater from the smaller Airbuses all the way up to the 380. It will feature functional thrust reversers with idle detent and flap lever locking. Honeycomb Aeronautical recently posted this picture, holding short on Charlie just past Bravo. Well, it looks like a set of rudder pedals is coming. I can only surmise that development of the rudder pedals is already underway and that its release will follow that of the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. Timings and all other details, I'm afraid, are simply unknown at this time. If the Flight Sim Show 2020 goes ahead at Cosford, well, perhaps we will see a proto. Release date, I can only guess, at first or second quarter next year. At the Honeycomb presentation at Cosford last year, Nikki gave us an idea of what to expect, which included G1000 panels for both GA and commercial configurations. One can only assume this is still in the planning phase, scheduled for a 2021 release. Honeycomb are progressively building up the complete cockpit. So that's all we know so far. If there's something you'd like to see in the Honeycomb lineup, pop it in the notes below. Who knows? They may even read it and pick up some ideas. I know for me, a joystick and throttle combination, HOTAS, well, there's plenty of room for another quality player in the market. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you found it useful and informative. Stay safe. Look after yourself and bye for now.